Hey, what's up coders? Uh, today we'll be looking at how to use the runnable class and the handler class using Kotlin in Android Studios, all right? So a lot of you guys might be going all over researching, finding complicated, a whole ton of codes. That used to happen to me when I tried it. So pretty much what's going to what I'm going to be doing is just to show you a quick way how to do it. So pretty much what we did was to simply start our Android application from an empty activity. So this is what you should be seeing. We're not going to be going through that part because you already know how to do that. So pretty much we have our hello world and it's in our constraint layout is in our constrained layout situation so pretty much all right so hello world so what we have to do now is <clears throat> let's look i'm in my my layout file no i'm in my layout file now so you can see hello world and in my main activity there is pretty much no code all right so pretty much what we want to do is to simply just update a text view um when it's called so we want to programmatically um change a text view so all right so first let's just add a text view all right we could actually use the hello world but i just want to show you one from scratch all right i don't want this particular text view let's just use a basic text view here so all right so this we are going to let's just constrain this it doesn't matter how you constrain it i'm pretty much using a touch a touchpad that doesn't want to touch so pretty much constrain it anywhere you like all right so i'm just putting it in and you have to be with me because i have the sniffles okay all right this doesn't look so constrained okay so there it is i text you all right let me see if I can zone in a bit so you can see it. All right, so text view. Okay, that's zoning in way too much. So let's give this text view a ID. So I'm gonna call this TV T view. Yeah, e W. That's how it's spelled. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure that's how view is spelled. All right, cool. So we have T view. All right, so what we really want to do is to update this text view whenever um, every couple seconds or uh, every uh, well just update that text view so pretty much and we're using Kotlin so pretty much what we want to do is to call the run of run run a book um, class so I'm just gonna create a variable I'm gonna call it var c equals runnable and what is runnable you may ask it's just pretty much what you're planning to run all right so let's just see if I think I spelled this correctly. Alright. Run elbow. So let me try that again. Run. Alright. Run elbow. Okay. There it is. And that is it. And inside this, it takes whatever you are trying to run. So we're going to be basically updating this text view. So we are saying T view which comes right up here t view dot and we should be getting some properties set text so we want to let this text be i am running now okay pretty much that's it so what we want to do is whenever we call this what it, it should just run it should change programmatically or, or better yet automatically so after you have the runnable class you are going to need a handler so let's just create a handler so let's just say um, creating an next variable again var hand for lack of a better word equals um, handler which is capital H um, and uh, there okay there we go all right and it's really a function okay and pretty much so pretty much we have our text i'm running now on our handler so let's just say handler our hand 
because that's what we call it and we're going to look for post okay post delayed all right so it's gonna run after a while and it takes basically what the runnable is based on what we're seeing here and the delays so how long it's going to be and it takes it in a form of seconds so we're gonna say okay the runnable which is this what we created up here which is variable c for lack of a better name that's the first thing we pass in and then we pass in how long we want it to be so i'm gonna say 1000 milliseconds so you see delay in milliseconds 1000 so pretty much that's how that is okay and expected a two ta -da 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 declaration did we miss anything here i don't think we missed anything all right so let's just remove that silicone that just came from nowhere and let us just try it so pretty much what happens is we had um a text view that says let's just give this text view that we are going to change uh a text called i am i am very basic so this is our default text it says i'm very basic cool so let us run that and pretty much if you don't want to even stay for the rest of the tutorial that's pretty much it for the runnable but for those who want to actually see this thing running i'm going to be bringing up my emulator which will be slow so i caution you it will be slow um so if you want to see because gradle will now start to build i should pass pause this video a bit so therefore that you don't have to be bored bored out of your wits while my emulator comes up so i'm going to pause it a bit and then resume when my emulator is running that's it that's pretty much it so it has already been updated and that's how you get a runnable to run inside the the android application using kotlin uh thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe or share it with a friend